Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now comes the third step that is weaving. Now in weaving what we do is we arrange two yarns together to make a fabric. Something of this sort. So here you see you can see one red yarn. So this is one type of thread and the vertical ones are the other type of threads. So it is like two types of threads they are like crossed over one another so you see how you have crossed them with each other and that's how you make a fabric so when you are able to do this completely what you get is a fabric so let us have a look at it so this is how a fabric looks like so here we need now for weaving to happen you need two distinct sets of yarns so that is very important you need two distinct sets with one yarn you cannot do it so what where are those two distinct sets used so one is the longitudinal ones as you can see here so these threads these are the, uh, the sorry these are the lateral ones that is the horizontal ones and these are the longitudinal ones so the lateral threads so these are the lateral thread so the lateral thread is termed as weft and the longitudinal thread is termed as warp so warp and weft so what happens is you basically have one set of threads which are placed say horizontally and then you have another set of thread which is like woven through these horizontally placed strands and that's how you get a structure like this so here you see one is like horizontal strands and then through those horizontal strands you have the vertical strands going through them and that's how you get a woven structure like this and this is this process is called weaving so basically two distinct sets of yarn they are interlaced to form a fabric or a cloth now how do we do this weaving because again this doesn't seem to be simple that you know it cannot be very easily done with hands and we also need perfection so again here we make uses of certain devices the most common device that is used for weaving is called loom so what happens in this device so this device holds the warp warp that is the longitudinal threads or the vertical threads so that is the vertical threads will be like placed in this device like this and then the horizontal threads would be woven through them. So the horizontal threads will go through them like this. So like you know they are going up and down, up and down. So let's say, let's say the horizontal thread will go like this. Up, again down, up, again down, up, again down. And that's how you kind of weave the two threads with each other. Now again, this loom can be hand operated or it can be power operated. So let us look at this example. So here you can see a lady is uh, weaving. So how is she weaving? So looking at this, you can see the, the, the vertical strands are see kind of placed here. So they are here and what she is doing is she is just weaving the or she is just placing the uh, horizontal strand. So the wrap is already there. So she is weaving the weft through the wrap and that is how she would get the fabric. Now there are certain power operated loom and in power operated looms you really do not need to do anything manually. So here what happens is uh, machines are kind of well oiled, cleaned and well maintained and through the machines you just give the input and the machine will kind of do the entire process of weaving and it will just give out give you the output which is the fabric and because of this difference like in power operated so one is power operated looms and the other one is the hand operated loom so the hand operated loom is also called hand loom so this is again a very common term you would have seen a lot of shops which say haryana hand loom punjab hand loom and so on so hand loom is basically the hand operated looms they are hand looms now in hand looms uh, it needs more effort from the person so the person who is involved in uh, weaving using the hand loom they, a lot of strength is needed to do the weaving job and that is why mostly men are uh, employed in hand looms whereas in power looms since everything happens using machines so not a lot of strength is needed so a lot of girls and even young women are also employed in power operated looms so this is how we actually weave okay so now we have reached the third step so we started with the cotton plant so from the cotton plant we take the cotton fruits 
from the cotton fruits we receive we remove the seeds and we get the cotton fiber that cotton fiber is then stretched and twisted to make the yarns now once once we have the yarns so the yarn, two sets of yarns are taken and then they are woven either using machines or hand and once you weave them all that you get is a cotton fabric so basically this is pretty much about how we get cotton fabric from the cotton fiber thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again